Hi all, Chris here and I'm just doing a quick little video to show you inside of a portable television set. One of a 5 inch personal ones, so... For your viewing convenience, I've already removed the screws in this. And just before we go in, here's the board from my Computech telly, which I'm kind of fixing. You can see we've got a tiny flyback transformer, uh, main electrolyte capacitor here. Uh, they usually have uh, a small headphone jack, they usually have two of them, one for um, headphones and one for antennas. I've got a special adapter over here actually. The coaxial um, into that little AV jack. So this is the main, this is the main board for the um, television itself, you've got your tiny little anode cap here, um, base of a tube, you've got your radio board here with, um, with a uh, coil and tuning controls and all of that. Now let's see inside this one, bearing in mind that this little Computech personal television runs solely off the night of um, 12 volts. <clears throat> you can see inside here it's got a little picture tube, uh, another little anode cap, you can see the tiny little gun, it's got some controls here for um, adjusting the image, fly back here which is an unusual enclosed one, coaxial, um, one of these I believe the one and the, this one is for the antenna. Once again you've got your um, radio board here, the tuning controls and the um, aerial and not an awful lot to see inside of here. But there's some various bits and pieces, you can see the tuning knob down there, heat sink for what I'm presuming is a power, power um, transistor or regulator. And in here you've got your speaker, there's a board here which um, it steps down to 240 volts and it uses a transformer over here to do that and it's just a power supply, it's got a smoothing capacitor, regulator um, don't know if it's got a diode bridge or not probably would have, I don't know but yeah so there it is just the inside of one of these and it's not quite like you'd expect with all the mini components, like the surface mounted microelectronics, but considering it's from 1988, it's pretty good. So, yeah, there it is. So, and there's, just before I switch off, there's also a neat little warning here, which you can kind of see, and it says that, um, second anode voltage, this one is 8,000 volts, so still a little shock, but not as much as a bigger tube, so anyways, there you have it, there's the inside of one of these sets, so yeah, don't have to go pulling apart or breaking any of your own, yeah, well, cheers, Chris.